plotting rational numbers on a number line. You've learned that an integer is the set of whole numbers and their opposites. For example, 0, 3, and negative 3 are all integers. Both 3 and negative 3 are 3 spaces away from 0 on a number line, meaning they have the same absolute value and are opposites. Notice that negative 3 is less than 0. Any number with a negative sign is less than 0. In this lesson, we will learn how to plot integers and rational numbers on a number line. A rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction a over b, where b does not equal 0. All integers and whole numbers are rational numbers, so 0, 3, and negative 3 are rational numbers. But so are fractions, such as 1 8 and negative 1 8. Take a look at this set of rational numbers. In order to plot these points on a number line, it is helpful to write them in a common form. Let's change the fractions to decimals. Negative one-fifth is equal to negative two-tenths. Negative one-fourth is equal to negative twenty-five-hundredths. Now, we must place them on a number line. Since there are no positive numbers in our set, we know that we won't plot any numbers to the right of zero. Now we see that negative 1 is already labeled here on the number line, so let's mark this with a solid dot at its location. To plot negative 8 tenths, we must first figure out how the distance between negative 1 and 0 is divided. There are 10 equal sized spaces, meaning each space represents 1 tenth. To plot negative 8 tenths, we must travel 8 tenths to the left of 0. We plot and label negative 8 tenths here with a solid dot. To plot negative 2 tenths, how far will we travel to the left of zero? That's right. We must travel to the left two places. Now we will plot negative twenty-five hundredths. But first, let's determine if this point is located to the left or to the right of negative two tenths. Since negative 25 hundredths is located between negative 3 tenths and negative 2 tenths, it will be to the left of negative 2 tenths. It is located halfway between negative 3 tenths and negative 2 tenths. Let's plot a point on the number line to represent it. Now that we've plotted each point on the number line, do you think you can order these numbers from least to greatest? The smallest or least number is the one furthest to the left. The largest number is the one furthest to the right. Ordered from least to greatest, we have negative 1, negative 8 tenths, negative 25 hundredths, or negative 1 fourth, and negative 2 tenths, or negative 1 fifth. Great work! In this lesson, you learned how to order rational numbers on a number line.